Wacom announced this week that they are bringing out new high-end Cintiqs, replacing the 22 and 27 QHD with a new 24 and a new huge 32-inch model. The 24 is expected to cost around $2,000, and the new 32 is expected to cost around $3,300, and these will be coming out sometime early next year. Also, you're going to be getting the Pro Pen 2 with these, which comes with 8,000 some uh, levels of pressure sensitivity and some other improvements as well. This announcement is really no surprise at all. We all kind of knew it was coming. Uh, Wacom made a huge update to the Cintiq Pros and also to the Mobile Studio Pro, but the big updates to those devices earlier this year, late last year, were in the screen. So we're expecting to see that kind of screen technology come to these new devices. These new devices are expected to have full 4K screens, much like the 16-inch uh, Cintiq Pro and also the 16-inch Mobile Studio Pro. Blah, blah, blah. Writing those product names out in a script here was easy, saying that all out loud was hard. But we're past the hard part, so now I can get into the nitty-gritty details. I think the biggest upgrade here is not so much the fact that there's more pixels on the screen. That's, that's a big thing. I think the biggest upgrade here is how the screens are built themselves. If you look at the new Mobile Studio Pro, uh, or the new Cintiqs even, the amount of distance between where you're drawing, the glass you're drawing on, and and the screen underneath has been reduced dramatically. And what happened in old Cintiqs, and even some of the uh, Cintiq replacement, the more inexpensive tablets that you look at, is that there is some displacement, a fair amount of displacement actually, between where your cursor hits the screen and where it actually uh, shows up on the screen itself, where the pen hits the screen and the cursor shows up, I mean. And sometimes the further away you get from the center of that screen, the worse it gets. Oftentimes that's caused by like viewing angles. You know, you can calibrate it one way, but then if you shift your position, uh, you're going to mess up that viewing angle, you're going to see that displacement. So by shrinking down that area, it makes it so much more accurate when your pen hits the display. So this isn't something that's really talked about a lot, but is a big improvement when you're actually drawing on one of these new Wacom devices. And this is something I've seen on the Surface Pro, I've seen on the iPad Pro, I've seen on other tablets, even Android tablets that have those really, you know, thin, thin screens. They're just better to draw on because of the lack of pen displacement. So the real question here, and what I think is most most interesting is why now? Why why announce this six month out? Because we don't really we don't have any product images. All we really have is you know, the size of the screens and the price. This is completely off the wall guessing, but I think it might have something to do with the work that they're doing with Dell. So back in January, you may remember this, Dell announced the Dell Canvas, and they haven't had a like hard launch date, but from what I hear, it's getting very close and they're hoping to launch it in August or September. So what is the Dell Canvas? The Dell Canvas is a 27 inch QHD screen, and it uses Wacom's tech, the same pen, the same everything, and so basically it's a very cheap I shouldn't say very cheap it's not cheap at all it's a little under two thousand dollars I think they're shooting for like 18 to 1900 it but it's a more inexpensive version of the Cintiq 27 QHD and since it's the same thing why would you pay hundreds of dollars more for the Wacom version so here's my guess a little bit of speculation here but bear with me let me know what you think there have been all these Cintiq competitors popping up pretty much everywhere and every year they get a little better and better and better and better to the point where they're very close to catching up. And so that's why these new screen upgrades are needed because that's going to give Wacom a little wiggle room, make it feel like a, a more prestigious product. So at the same time, Wacom's products can be a little bit expensive. And so people are naturally going to go for more inexpensive things. If you can get 80% of the experience for half the price, that's that's pretty attractive. I'm thinking maybe this deal with Dell is a way for Wacom to license their technology, kind of sell the older stuff, less pressure sensitivity, maybe kind of older versions of a screen. And Wacom can get a little bit of their money back by selling kind of lower end tablets, maybe cut off this flood of inexpensive stuff coming in from China, but still being able to sell that super high end stuff that they're known for underneath their own brand. So it makes me wonder if Dell's releasing this giant thing first and then going to make a series of smaller ones over the course of the next few years. And of course, these smaller ones are going to have slightly less pen pressure, maybe not as good of a screen, but are going to be pretty good products that can sell at a lower price than Wacom's main product line. Now Dell's canvas actually looks really, really cool. Uh, Lawrence Mann has been beta testing these things and he's been pumping out videos over on his channel. I'm gonna link that down in the description because if you geek out about this stuff the way I do, you really need to check out his videos. Really, none of you geek out the way that I do about this? All right, so that's my crackpot theory. That's what I'm sticking to. Let me know if I've missed anything or if there's something else out there that I'm just not seeing, totally possible. Uh, but 
let me know down in the comments. I just wanted to make a quick update video about this product because a lot of folks have been asking me, hey, what do you think? And I'm like, I think a lot of things. Also, while I have you here, what do you think about this setup? I'm using a webcam, which I don't think is as high quality as my phone, which I usually like film on, but I wanted to show off like my shelf back there. I got a toy shelf, I'm like a little 12 year old. Anyway, if it's garbage quality, I'll never do this again. I'll go back to using my phone, but if you like it, let me know. And that's all I've got. Uh, I'll be back in a couple days. I'm reviewing a Huion tablet, like a 19 inch which is another one of those Cintiq replacements I've been talking about. Should have that up, you know, Monday, uh, Monday night. So I'll see you then.